So here we are in Visual Studio Code and this is the line which our friend has suggested. This line has an error because it does not accurately reflect the definition of what a leap year is. Now the definition is complicated but fortunately our generative AI tools have read this definition as part of their training data. I know that the definition is not just this simple condition. It is this condition and something else. So let me go here and try and say and. And I didn't even have to type anything and my AI says and this other condition. So let me hit tab and understand what it is saying. So it is saying the year is a leap year if it is divisible by 4. Remember it must be divisible by 4 and this other condition is true. This other condition may look very different to the definitions you have seen online. But since this is a standard definition, you can be very confident that this is correct. Nevertheless, we should critique it. So let's try and see what's going on. So this condition is saying the year is not divisible by 100. But remember, the only time we are looking at this condition is when we know that the year already is divisible by 4. Why? Because we know that the AND operator uses short circuit evaluation. So if the year was not divisible by 4, immediately this part would have been false and false and anything is false. So we would not have bothered evaluating this expression. We only evaluate this expression when we know that the year is divisible by 4. So if the year is divisible by 4 and it is not divisible by 100, that would be a year for example like 2024. And if it is not divisible by 100, then it is a leap year. Remember, the additional condition about being a leap year only applies to years that are divisible by 100. So if the year is not divisible by 100, automatically it's going to be a leap year. Now, OR is also short circuit evaluation. So the only time we come over here is if the year is divisible by 100. So by the time we evaluate this, we know it is divisible by 4 and it is divisible by 100. And now in order to be a leap year, it must also be divisible by 400. So for example, a year like 2000. So this is a correct way of checking if a year is a leap year. And once that is fixed, then our helper function can be called with the correct value. So in summary, our friend's num days function was incorrect only for very special values. The month had to have been February because that's the only month in which leap years matter. And the year had to have this special property. It had to be divisible by 4 but not by 400 and according to the definition those years are not leap years. If you had given for example month equal to 2 and year equal to 1900, our friends function would have incorrectly said that the maximum number of days is 29. It would have thought that 1900 is a leap year. In fact it's not. So February 1900 had only 28 days. So we have to be very careful when we are critiquing code like this.